Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John from Volkswagen Planet. Two days left to Bug Jam 2019. And uh, here's the update. So, turn the ignition switch, car cranks, car fires up, will not stay running. Thought that uh, the car may have been out of time. Time is correct, but you know, we do have a loose distributor, so we need to uh, draw some attention to that. Um, thought maybe the fuel pump was bad. Ran down and got a fuel pump from Fisher Buggies. And the reason why we thought it was bad was because in my infinite wisdom, I had these two, I had the fuel line coming from the car on the bottom and I had the fuel line going from the pump to the carb. I had these, I had these reversed. So as you can imagine, that was causing a problem. Um, I do have the carb, um, just, to, I just got a cover on a carburetor hole right now, the intake. I been putting, you know, fixing the little intake, the exhaust, uh, taking care of exhaust leaks, but we've got it down. The car will run if you spray it with starting fluid. So we know it runs. We know we got a solid fire. It was running for about two minutes while we were spraying. So again, that's positive. Um, we got to isolate it down strictly to the carburetor. Got good fuel going into the um, bowl. We got good drip, got a good continuous flow. So that tells me that the isolation is somewhere inside the actual uh, bowl itself. What it was doing was it was taking the float and shoving it way to the top. And when we took the carburetor off, we dumped the fluid. It was full of varnish, gunk. And, um, so the, uh, we have basically one of two choices, either replace the carb called Fisher buggies, great place, missed out. They just sold the last carburetor a couple, uh, hours ago, but of course two days to bug jam, stuff like this is going to happen. Um, my option is still to get a bigger carb. It's got a 30 pick three on it right now, or I can go to a 32 pick. Um, still kind of up in the air about that 150 bucks the problems go away the Solex that we had on here 30 pick 3 uh, we got it narrowed down to uh, which I thought was the uh, choke which caught on fire it didn't catch on fire all it did was short out on the uh, coil um, today we did all replaced all the ends it's still they're not perfect, but they're a lot safer. And for right now, this will work. So tonight, I took the carburetor off, tearing it all down here. As soon as I get off the uh, doing this video, putting it in a uh, bucket, letting it fill uh, full of carburetor cleaner. Like I said, the bowl had a bunch of soot in it, and uh, probably because it, it was sitting for a while, it's got varnish. And it's just, uh, it's just junk. It's just, it just needs to be rebuilt. Um, first thing in the morning, I'm going to go down and get the rebuild kit. So hopefully by um, maybe this time tomorrow, this thing will be firing up. It sounds good. The motor sounds really strong, real raspy. Uh, I still got to get the accelerator cable uh, through the, uh, the tube and the tunnel. All is clear from... The fuel coming from the tank back to or in the fuel lines fuel is clean we check the filters both dual filters uh, you can check out my previous video for that how I installed them but the filters are clean I took out the filters there was no contaminants no contaminants in the bowls looking through it really clean the tank was cleaned out before uh, we even blew bubbles back from the fuel line back into the tank we got bubbles so that tells us that the fuel was coming back out and we finally got the gravity drip to come back into the, uh, the pump. The pump is now primed. So again, we're focused on this carburetor. Carburetor's being rebuilt, torn down as we speak. And it's just gonna sit, get cleaned out tonight. And like I said, um, I'm gonna run down tomorrow, grab that kit. I know they're junk, but this is all I gotta work with. Um, I do have a couple more carburetors I can play with, but um, this was the rush to get it done by Bug Jam. 
And like I said, I really, really think, um, I know I keep saying it, but this thing actually fired up and it did put a smile on my face. So like I said, I want to say thank you to all you guys for your support. I did use your comments and uh, with my buddy here, it was a lot of knowledge. He had the basic knowledge, but he's not really, you know, old school um, VW type specific, but he knew what was going on. And uh, he was the one who's who's uh, actually going to rebuild the carburetor. I got faith in him, but I want to say thank you guys again. And uh, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care, and have a good night.